Today, we will talk about forward integration. Forward integration is when a company expands its business activities to include the direct distribution of its products. This means that the company owns and controls business activities that are ahead in the value chain of its industry. For example, a farmer who sells his crops directly at a local grocery store instead of going through a distribution center, is practicing forward integration. Forward integration, also known as cutting out the middleman, is a strategy implemented by a company to increase control over its suppliers, manufacturers, or distributors. This can be done by gaining ownership over other companies that were once customers, or by setting up an online store to sell products directly. The goal is for the company to move forward in the supply chain while maintaining control of its current operations. Companies should be aware of the costs and scope associated with forward integration. They should only engage in this sort of strategy if there are cost benefits and if the integration won't dilute its current core competencies. Sometimes it is more effective for a company to rely on the expertise and economies of scale of other vendors, rather than expanding on its own. An example of forward integration would be if a company that supplies intermediate goods, such as processors, wanted to take control of the manufacturing portion of the industry. Similarly, a company that wants to increase control over the marketing of its end product can engage in forward integration by seeking to take over a marketing agency that it previously used. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Forward integration involves expanding a company's activities to include direct distribution of its products. 2. It is colloquially referred to as, cutting out the middleman. 3. While forward integration can increase a company's control of its product and profits, there can be a danger of diluting the core competencies and business. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.